Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and I'm on holiday. Well, uh, for me right now, I'm about to be on holiday. For you, I am on holiday. Uh, well, when you're watching this, I'll probably be on holiday. And kind of as a lead up to my holiday, I wanted to build something that I could take with me to the beach and have a little bit of fun with, because uh, that's where I'm going for my holiday. It is, of course, summer in Australia, so uh, Christmas and the holiday season is hot. Uh, so most of us do go to the beach, uh, so that is what I'm going to be doing. And I wanted uh, something that I could take with me um, that I'd made myself as a bit of a, a holiday present for me and a bit something, you know, to do while I'm at the beach. So I found this uh, kid's pirate boat uh, play set thing. There's a whole lot of other stuff that's supposed to go on it, like a cannon and a mast and things. But for right now, I've just got the boat itself. And I want to control this with the Arduino system that I use in my combat robots. Um, I could obviously throw a regular old RC receiver in here, but there's no real fun in that. We're gonna, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Now, uh, we're gonna do this as a bit of an airboat. I've been watching a few different YouTubers, including uh, Peter Streeple and RC Life On and Ivan Miranda, and I'm kind of throwing a bunch of their ideas into the one build. So we're gonna see how this all goes. The plan is to take some 1806 brushless motors that I normally use to power weapons in my combat robots, add a propeller, and then do one on either side of the actual boat. So the idea here is that if you throttle both propellers up at the same time, the whole boat is gonna go forwards, but if you throttle one propeller up and leave the other one stationary, then the, hopefully the boat will turn. I'm not too sure. This thing is pretty light, but it is also pretty big. It doesn't have a great uh, profile for going through the water because of course, I think this is like, supposed to be a just like a kids push boat type thing like have it in the bath or something I don't I don't really know so it doesn't really need to be like perfectly streamlined uh, so it's probably going to affect our performance a little bit on this front but you know whatever this is supposed to be just be a quick little build that I can have some fun with while I'm down at the beach uh, so as I said this is going to be a quick build so we're just going to 3D print up some pods out the side here that will hold our brushless motors in place and then I think we're just going to try and find a little um, like clip seal lunch box thing that we can stick all of our electronics in into the back out the back here. Uh, I might stick a GoPro mount up the front just so that we can have some GoPro footage as we cruise through the waves. Um, hopefully we'll get to use this at the beach. We might just go to a lake first and use it uh, so I know it's not going to tip over or anything while it's out in the waves, but we'll see how we go. Uh, anyway, I think it's time to get moving on this project and go and print some stuff. Okay, so here I am on holiday, and I'm sorry for the audio quality, it might be a little bit terrible, I have no idea right now. Uh, so, we are on holiday, and it is time to test out this boat. What you should have just seen was me attempting uh, somehow to get this boat to actually float for the first time. I don't make boats, as you probably know, I make lots of robots, so uh, that didn't go very well. It kind of, it doesn't have the weight at the bottom, which is where the weight needs to be. It has the weight all the way up at the top where those propellers are, and that just doesn't work for anybody. So we're gonna need to stick some weights into the boat, make that actually work properly, and let's have a look at that right about now.
and uh, we're going to go back out to the same lake. This is actually a very, very salty lake, so I don't really want to do too much testing in it, but it's the only real sheltered spot that I can find uh, on my holiday to do this testing with. So we'll go back out to that lake, put it back in, and do a bit more testing. So it works okay, but it doesn't work great, basically. It, yeah, um, it works sometimes, but you saw that it kind of like tilted into the water when it was trying to drive along. That wasn't great. So I think the next thing we need to do is we need to put some floats in underneath those propellers uh, just to kind of stabilize them a little bit more, get that all to work a little bit better. And then we can go back down to the lake and test it again. Let's have a look and see if we can get that to work. <laughs>